our final episode of our healthy food fanatics series we are very excited and have waited a long time to be in this amazing house filled with so many stories so today we are making food that from a food lover that uh, claims that he loves food because it, he likes the way it makes him feel well that is why we're doing the show in the first place so today we'll be making all those fantastic chicken porcupine moving on to a creamy yet crunchy cauliflower mash and then finally a red salad thank you so much for all of your support and sharing all of our channels it's been a pleasure to have you a part of our journey and there is so much more to come please feel free to like share and uh, compliment or <laughs> comment on all of our social media channels it is great to hear your feedback all right, so I am very excited to introduce this guest to you. Um, he is a fantastic inspiration. You will find all of his opinions and experiences and journeys all the way on his YouTube channel. A little bit more about that in a few. But Alvin, tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, so my name is Alvin Ace and I'm a South African para-athlete. Uh, six years ago, I got injured in a car accident and since then, endeavored to do you know basically any challenge that I can get my hands on like doing the Ironman or swimming Robben Island right. or climbing mountains or whatever it may be wow. um, anything that really excites me you know that's okay. that's what I go after wow. yeah and you have got big dreams that we'll talk a little bit more about your next steps yeah but um, is there anything that if you could go back in time would you change anything yeah, that's, that's actually a very interesting question, um, if I would replay that day that I had my accident. And to be honest, I would still do it exactly the way that I did it. Wow. Yeah, just because of all the growth that happened and how my life changed for the better. Yeah. Um, you know, people look at the wheelchair, yeah. there's a lot more to it. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yes. And you'll find out there is so much more. Alright, so we normally kick off with a few flash questions. Are you ready? Of course. Alright, the first one is indoor or outdoor? Definitely outdoor. Absolutely. Fast food or homemade? Homemade. Sweet or savory? Ooh, sweet. <laughs> introvert or extrovert? Introvert. Oh, really? Yeah. Yet you love being among people when it's necessary. Actually. Yeah, I think I think I just enjoy my, my own time as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a, it's a healthy combination, but definitely leaning a bit more towards me. chosen a very special dish. Please mm -hmm. tell us why this is a, such a special dish and what you call it. Yes, so the dish is called Alvain's Porcupine Chicken. And <laughs> That's original. Yeah, um, first of all what makes it so unique and why I actually love it is just because it has you know more than one meat type in it. Okay. Um, I really love chicken. So this is meatitarian paradise. Yeah, basically, but there is some, you know, other, you know, dressing and stuff worked into okay. it, which makes it quite unique. Right. All right. And um, why is this dish special to you? Well, it's not often that I make these kind of dishes. Right. And it's something that I actually can make. So that's the only reason that it's really special to me because um, I don't have much, you know, tools in the bag. All right. Um, so yeah, this is just a favorite that I love to make. And in this case, it's needless to say, hello cute pie, um, he won't be getting any of this porcupine chicken. Not on camera. Not no. on camera, shh. <laughs> um, but obviously it's needless to say that um, this is going to be the best one yet. Refined porcupine chicken. This is definitely the best one yet. We did change it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, just improvise. And that's actually what I love about it is yes. that you cook and you improvise. Okay. Um, I love having like a basic guideline or a recipe, yes. but I do believe in improvising. If you feel there must you know, come a bit more cheese in or, mm. or whatever it is, go ahead and try it. Because if you don't try it, you'll never know. And that's what's so beautiful about food. You try the recipe once and then you actually just make exactly. what you enjoy. So Alvin, what's next on your bucket list? You've got so many adventures on your name and behind your name. What is next? Yeah, so with the whole COVID and lockdown and everything, it, it does make it a little bit tricky to plan for events and stuff. But I think the, 
the future is, you know, these private events. Mm. So for the end of March, um, this is just a little personal challenge that I want to do. Yeah. Is doing three half Ironman in three days. Dear goodness. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because so I did my first half Ironman. Uh, when was it? Probably two or three years ago. Yeah. And I remember that feeling of just doing one half Ironman. Wow. Um, obviously, how you know taxing it was and how difficult it was. And I really want to challenge myself, so I want to do three of them in three days. Wow. And um, I want to do each of them faster than I did my first Ironman ever. So th that's the goal, that's what I want to do. And, um, and this is for March? Yeah, so this is end of March, yes. Now, I definitely am not as fit as I want to be. Yeah. Because, yeah, I've been busy with quite a lot of things. Right. But I think it's going to be more like a mental challenge than anything else. Yes. I think it's going to be a massive mental challenge. Are you um, documenting some of this? I am, so I'll probably just post it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look what we have. Ooh. Now this looks good. Oh my word. I told you, this is going to be the best one I've ever made. You have selected cauliflower mash to go with it. Yes. Why cauliflower and not something else? Well, I went for the cauliflower mash and not just, you know, regular mash or rice because I wanted to get more vegetables in. Oh, right. And also just not eat so many carbs. Okay. Um, yes. So, yeah, I just went with the cauliflower mash. I'm not great on vegetables. Okay. So, I kind of have to like hide it and make it interesting yes. um, to get into my body. Okay. All right. Well, there is some potatoes for those that need to get the carbo load, but uh, for the, for the add-ons, we are going a little bit healthy. What is it about food that you love so much? Probably the way it makes me feel. <laughs> Which is? I'm, I'm not talking about emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm referring to like, if I eat healthy, because I'm into training, yes. I feel good. Yes. I find it like therapeutical to make food. I also want to really love enjoy food it. because it makes me feel good. For our salad, Alvain said that I must be creative or should be creative with salad and uh, so we've chosen a red salad um, that will completely blow your socks off and obviously the idea is that um, it's something everything red and then the genius came in putting it in a stunning green bowl. Now I don't know if you know much about colour but red and green is complementary and this is such a complementary dish going with this. Amazing. Awesome. Alright, enjoy. Oh, then how can we get hold of you? How can we follow your story? So, I've actually switched mainly to YouTube. Okay. For that reason, that I want to show more of what I'm doing. Because I found that, you know, the other platforms like Facebook and Instagram, it's just photo driven mainly, and people don't actually sit down and, and really watch the content, and you can't really get your voice out there. Um, and I've got quite a lot to say. So, yes, yeah, but Instagram and YouTube, you can just search for Alvain Ace and you'll find every you know, social media has definitely helped me uh, work through my struggles. Wow, yeah, so you want to use to it talk as about inspiration it. as well, yes, but it was also you know very motivating for myself to see okay, look how far you've come and what you've done, and yes, okay, so are you ready to dig into the food? I'm ready. All right. oh. So how do, are we just picking it up at the porcupine? Um, I think it edges. might fall apart. Let me... I think so. Well, let's work it with the Yeah. Let's take it with a fork. Take that one for you. Right. Oh, you got an onion as well. I'm, I'm eyeing this one. Can you give me a it's hand? because it's oozing with Ooh. that cheese. Ooh -hoo. Some onion? Yes, please. This is great. So exciting. Potato? 
Yes, please. Hmm, you're going to add a few of those. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you can see the potatoes at the bottom. Just got all the chicken all broth and everything. Up. Yes. Oh, nice. Right. Yes, absolutely. What question is this? Sure. Now the salad just adds some color yeah. to the mix. Mm. So you can use feta as a substitute. Just add feta, yeah. Just add feta. Don't eat the toothpicks. <laughs> okay. Very important. It's called the porcupine for a reason. Yeah. Well, I think you need to leave us alone so we can dig into this food. Thank you so much for making us feel so welcome in your home and sharing a part of your journey. It was such a privilege to see that you have transformed your life even though life has dealt you a few cards that was seen as horrible or maybe yeah. difficult cards um, and completely just flaunted what life has to give so thank you for for having us here oh it's a pleasure um they say that a healthy meal is one that's mindfully balanced you should chew on that one all right thank you so much for watching and thank you for toasting with Andre.